welcome to, uh, I think the actual is a soft seat because it is very soft today. Um, so I'm here with Boru and we're going to be talking about IFWF3. So first of all Boru, can you just tell us what is IFWF3? So uh, you didn't tell me you were going to ask me that question. <laughs> the International Forum on Water and Food. Okay. Is this the This is the third of the CP forums, is that correct? That's right, yes. So um, can you briefly say when it will happen and where it's going to be? So it's going to be the 14th to the 17th of November um, in South Africa, between Johannesburg and Pretoria. And as, you, as I said, this is the third forum, so what were the previous two forums about and why is this third one happening? Okay. Um, well, we, we had the first forum in uh, sort of the middle of our phase phase one. I think it was in was it 2006, 2000. Yeah. Um, and that was about building. Um, it was the first time that the the CPWF community came together. Um, so it was about bringing that to community starting to, to build it and I think that, that was if, if it was one thing we could say that that, that was really about it was um, creating a flavor in, in the CPWF for a program that is, is, is a little bit different uh, it's experimental um, sometimes makes mistakes and gets things wrong but uh, it's, it's sort of is, is, is interesting and um, if anyone went, went to any of those sessions they, they were they were quite different to your to your normal scientific scientific conference um, then the second forum we had was at the end of our, our phase one and that was more about okay so what are the results which have come out of phase one and what are we going to do now in, in, in phase two and coming back to the to the, the community um, and validating and uh, building up our proposals for uh, what we were going to do in our phase two basins. So, so that's where we first um, sort of floated these ideas for basin development challenges and, and got feedback on them. Um, now this third forum is it's going to be in the middle of our phase two. It's, it's going to be about um, if, it's, if it's about what, just one thing, it will be about sort of sparking and um, really sort of bringing together for the for the first time the the global program that, that we have in phase two and getting people uh, interacting, sharing ideas, and uh, motivating the, the research that will, will happen in, in the remaining two two years. So who, who are you expecting to attend? I mean, roughly how many people and presumably a lot of people from each of the BDCs, how many people from each of the BDCs? There would be, I think from about each project we're expecting about four, four or five. Um, so you're looking at about 20, 20 people per, per, per BDC. Um, so some thought would need to be put into who goes. Um, so that you're, you're thinking, thinking in terms of a BDC delegation. Yeah, no, I mean, I attended both the first two forums, and as you said, they were quite innovative uh, in the way they did things. So I was just wondering if you could let us into some, give us some idea of what sort of activities we might expect in this third forum. Okay. How would it be different, maybe, from your normal conferences? What will people do? Right. Well, I, um, I mean, I think we're going to try and do six things in, in this uh, uh, third forum. Um, it, it's going to be about results. So it's going to be uh, what, are, what promising uh, early results are coming out to, to share those, uh, to spark um, ideas. It's, it's going to be about um, progress. So just standing back like we've been doing in, in this workshop um, and seeing how we're doing uh, as, as a program. It's going to be about messages. Um, so, so what are both what are the messages that we as a program are, are, are able to articulate um, 
what are the agendas and the global agendas that, that we're, we're, we're able to talk to, as well as to look at some of the emerging um, agendas and, and global processes that we should be aiming at. Um, it's also going to be about sparking, as I say, sparking ideas. I mean, uh, we're, we're, a development, we're a research and development program. Um, we want to make it we want change to happen, and, and that, happen, that happens through people, and it happens through basically mixing people together with, with ideas. And so um, the, the idea is that by bringing our, our global program, or our projects, big delegations from projects together, that we really do start to spark some cross-based cross learning beyond what we uh, are doing and that we envisage in the public working groups. And it's going to be a very strategic time in the life of the CG um, when the CRPs are coming on board. And we believe that you know, we, we have learned some lessons, um, a, a lot of lessons, and, and some of those are, are going to be relevant. Um, so it's also an opportunity for us to, to interact with CRPs and I know one of the things we're going to be looking at is who we bring to the forum from, from the CRPs. Uh, CRP5 in particular, which is the CPWS home um, uh, CRP, but also uh, some of the others as well. So do the BDCs and the topic working groups, they need to, I mean, what do they need to do to prepare for the, the forum? Presumably you're expecting them to come with these key messages and things, but is there any, anything they need other? Anything else I need to do? Uh, yes, uh, so most of you have, should have got an invitation to submit two pages. So it's, uh, these are two page abstracts, two page descriptions of promising results coming out, lessons learned. We're looking at probably three, four per project. We're looking at them, we're looking at them both from project and also for BDC. Um, and, and it is, it's those abstracts which we're going to, the, the deadline is the 15th of July, but, um, we'll process those, there'll be an internal review process, and it, it's those abstracts, those you telling us um, what's coming out, which will then very much shape the programme, because the, the programme is, is um, quite flexible um, still. So just to be clear, though, these are abstracts that come from the BDC as a whole, rather than from individuals. Is that correct? Uh, both, uh, no, both from projects and from the BDC uh, as a whole, because there are going to be project-specific stories, and there are, but there's also going to be stories about what, what the BDC as a whole has been able to. And whether you were expecting any high-profile keynote speakers who might be there that would uh, attract us to this workshop. Well, I, I, I can't give you any, uh, any names now for security reasons, but... <laughs> no, we're, we, we are looking at uh, attracting um, um, people like, yeah, uh, some, some, some pretty high-profile keynote speakers um, for the first day. And so, that, so the first day of the forum, that's, that's when we'll, we'll have the keynotes and they will sort of frame the, the forum. Um, then, um, and basically set the tone. And those keynotes, they'll be talking to um, some of the global issues, global, global challenges, and, and particularly Africa, and, and, and African issues and challenges. Uh, the forum being based in uh, South Africa is going to have a very strong African perspective. Okay, so um, one slightly different question. I mean, there's a, there's a school of thought that these big international forums, of which there are a large number these days, um, are just big talking shops. They're very expensive. Um, they cost a lot of money. They have a huge carbon footprint because people have to fly from all over the world and this sort of thing. I just wonder whether if you could say something about um, why you think this is good value for money and why the money shouldn't be spent in, in a different way, perhaps in an innovation fund or something like that. 
Um, yes, I mean, I, I think these, these, these forums are extremely useful, ex extremely valuable. Um, and, and the reason I think derives from how change, change happens. It, it, it is about it's about people and it's about new ideas and it's about um, coming across new ideas and it's, 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 coming, it's coming through mixing people and, and, and ideas which haven't come into contact with each, with each other before and I mean that's, that's what happens and I think for any of us who have been to a, a good conference or a workshop we, we've had some idea um, and, and, and we haven't had much support for it in our own organisations and, and you're just about to give up on it and then you meet a couple of like-minded people and, and you uh, start to talk about it and, and you realise that no, it's actually not such a bad idea after all and you then start, you, you, you form a network of these people and experiences like that can actually change the tra trajectory of your whole of your whole career. Um, so these things can be extremely important. They, they're about, I mean, they're about building, um, bridging social capital. They're, they're, they're about building a, a, net, a network capital. Um, I guess it's hard to put a monetary value to, to, to that capital because so often, you know, the messages and, and what happens in, in the conference like that is just it, it's um, adding to what you already know. Um, it, it's just triggering things. So no, they're uh, they're they're extremely important, and, it, and this will be particularly important for for the CBWF for where we are now in terms of um, the CRPs and um, yeah, perhaps paradigms are, are are changing, and uh, perhaps this will be a, a tipping point. Okay, so thank you very much. I mean, finally, finally, if you just remind us, remind us when and where the forum is going to happen, and what we need to be thinking about to make it a success. Okay. Um, uh, participation. Uh, it's going to need all of your participation to to make it to make it a success. It's going to be in South South Africa, uh, um, Johannesburg. Uh, 14th to 17th of November. Um, the abstracts, think about those, get those in by the 15th of July. And there are going to be three main things really. There are going to be basin sessions, um, there are going to be topic working group sessions, and there's going to be share fair. So for three hour, there are going to be three hour lunches on days two and three, which are going to be share fair. Uh, events. So think of bringing your posters and your interesting tools and methods to share with other colleagues from, from, from other bases from other parts of the world. Okay, thank you very much for the, from the soft chair. Thanks a lot.